Hey guys. Hi guys. Got a really good box here from McFarlane Toys full of basically a big haul of different stuff that McFarlane carries. Full of goodies. You've probably seen some of the, the stuff that they've had in stores lately. Um, most specifically, I would say Stranger Things. Yes. The Stranger Things action figures. There's some really great stuff that McFarlane's coming out with. Um, especially the Stranger Things stuff. So, and probably Walking Dead you've seen too. So, uh, let's open up this box and show you what was sent. Uh, we've already looked through it. I'm sorry, but we had to. We can hold off. We can hold off. And there's some really good stuff. So, let me open it. And as you can see, we have all kinds of goodies. All the goodies. Inside of this. All the goodies. All the goodies are in it. All the things. All the things. So let me put this down on the ground and uh, we'll go one at a time. All right, so we have them all laid out on the table. You probably can't see them, but they're here. And the big question is where to start. I know exactly where I want to start where first. Start. That is the Stranger Things action yeah. figures. These are just so cool. Um, now these are sort of a taste of what they have out there. They do have other stuff out there, right. so this isn't just it. Matter of fact, we've been trying to collect all of them, but they've been sold out everywhere. Everywhere we go. Very we're difficult to find them. Very, very difficult. At least in our area, it's difficult to find them. So uh, let's start off with Dustin. This is the Dustin action figure. And again, it's from McFarland Toys. You've probably seen like Funko's action figures of Stranger mm -hmm. Things. Not very good, in my opinion. Yeah, they don't come anywhere near the quality of the McFarlane ones. If you know anything about McFarlane toys, you probably remember them when they were doing Spawn action mm -hmm. figures. They were real big into the sun. They do a lot of detailed stuff. I mean, Todd McFarlane's a very detail oriented artist, and it's his company. He's the one who created it. So now that they're moving into like Walking Dead and video games right. and Stranger Things, uh, they blew me away. When we saw them first, I was like, that's an action figure, and I don't even really like highly collect action figures. Right, we don't. I mean, we have a couple, but when we saw these, we are like, yeah. holy cow. They have to be special action figures for me to really want to collect them. Mm -hmm. Like like these guys, you can see the, the special DC blue line right. ones. Um, one twelve figures were absolutely mm -hmm. loving. I think one of the big issues with these us though. with action figures is a lot of the detail in the face kind of blends or it's distorted. And with this, it's really not. Like it actually looks like the character. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't seen these in stores yet and you're Stranger Things fans, you need to own these. Yes, I you I kid do. you not. You have to own these. The face sculpt is just perfect. Mm -hmm. it, it looks just like him. And where they put the joints, they hide him so well. They do. I mean, Which holy crap. I love. You can't even barely see his elbow joint, his knee joints aren't even hardly visible. Mm -hmm. Even his hip joints aren't visible. His neck, you can barely see it. It's tucked under there. Uh, it's just a fantastic action mm -hmm. figure. I love how he comes with this backpack. And uh, he's got his walkie-talkie and a different hand. He's got his flashlight and his compass. And uh, not only that, I love the artwork on the actual blister pack. I do too. I think that this entire lineup is fantastic. And I like the fact that you can have mm. so many options of displaying them. Either you, you can either keep them on card or you can take them out and depose them and it's just that's amazing that's the most important thing to me when, when collecting action figures is what does the card look like because right. i'm not one to usually open them mainly because right. to me like action figures when i collected action figures i would play with them a lot now as, as an adult i want to collect them and i like how i like when they look carded because right. i love art i love art style that's why i keep pops in boxes that's why i keep a lot of stuff in the box because i think the uh, the artwork on the box right. is just as important to the character um, as the character it itself. Is. Yes. And that's why we like it. And it keeps all the parts together and everything too, right. since there's accessories. That way you don't lose anything. Um, obviously, that's your decision how you how you collect figures. I don't, you know, everybody does different things. You might want, yeah, you might want them all on the, the shelf or anything. Just for me, I love when they're carded and mm -hmm. um, I just fell in love with it. Plus, I like the way that these look when you display them on the wall, like if you have hooks and stuff mm -hmm. and then you hang them. I yeah, just that's how think we, that they look. That's yeah. how we display them. Mm -hmm. Also, wanted to make note that one thing I like about the McFarland Toys action figures. In these Stranger Things ones, anyways, you don't have to tear up the card. It actually just has a couple of plastic pieces that you can lift up and sort of rip on the bottom and pull the figures right out. So you can either display them out of the box or put them back on a card with very little damage. Now, if we flip it on the back, you can see what they have here. They're gonna have Mike, Will, and Barb, and Punk Eleven, and Steve. Now, in this set, we have Dustin, Lucas, and the Demogorgon, and the Demogorgon is actually large size. Yes. Which is really, Huge. really cool. These will run you about 20 bucks, and the Demogorgon, I believe, runs anywhere from 30 to 40, depending on what website you want. Right. Now, we don't have the Demogorgon today, but I am going to collect all these because I think these are great. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have those for um, review later. Now, moving on to our other Stranger Things one, Lucas, one of my favorite of the show. I, I love actually love Lucas. Lucas. 
Again, I mean, come on guys, seriously, look at the face sculpt mm -hmm. of this action figure. It's an right. action figure, a $20 action figure. Exactly. Tell me that doesn't look like Lucas. Uh, I love it, I just love these. These are so great. Mm -hmm. The way that they hide the joints just blows me right, away. Because it looks like it's just like a standalone statue. And then when you actually can see it moving, the joints are amazing the way that they're hidden. I also love the vinyl or the sort of plastic that they're molding them in mm -hmm. because they're not shiny like an right. action figure. Right. They're dull, so they actually look like the material. Um, I mean, Lucas wears corduroy pants, mm -hmm. and you can actually see that Those corduroy, corduroy pattern. Yeah. Like, that is so cool. I actually love that. Mm -hmm. And he's got his bandana on and a slingshot in another hand. His sort of military is tactical L flashlight. Right. He has his walkie talkie and his backpack as well. So, again, I fell in love with this figure too. Mm -hmm. This is a, a great figure. I think it's a great lineup. I can't wait to get all of them. I am seriously blown away by these. McFarlane is, they're very much impressing me here. Me too. I think that, you know, the detail in all of their stuff is pretty fantastic, but I think that these action figures, is, it's where they shine the most, I think. I think you're right, mainly because Stranger Things is so popular and mm -hmm. we like Stranger Things more than most. At more least than the licenses. More than things that are on television Yeah, right now. or the licenses that McFarlane right. holds. Stranger Things is probably the one that we like the most. And uh, again, big fans of these. Love them. I want Hopper. Hopper looks really cool. Yes. He's in the series too. Hopper looks fantastic. I saw a Hopper one time at Toys R Us and didn't buy it. Then the next really? day it was gone. I was stupid. I didn't, why I didn't do that. Moving into one that I'm really excited about. Borderlands and Claptrap. Yeah. Borderlands was such a fun game for us. We literally spent we put the heck out of hours Borderlands. on Borderlands. And then we finally got to right at the end and we got into like a really bad like freeze. I don't really know what happened. We fell in a hole and we couldn't get out. Yeah. And we had one safe spot. And the safe spot for some reason was way back. Yes. And it was like hours yeah, back. Yeah. And I don't know what happened. And that was the last time we played Borderlands. Yeah. We, we fell in that trap. We couldn't get out. And we we're like, you know what? We're Forget done. It. it auto saved right before that happened. Yeah. So it. it, it we couldn't was, get out of it. We couldn't get out of it. It was awful. We, we were, were in super it. Yeah. It saved us in owed. the hole. Yeah. So it sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Great game, though. My favorite character from Borderlands is Claptrap. This is such an amazing character. It looks like it's battle damage. You can see the dirt and the smudge and the dents within Claptrap's the body. Textures. The Look at textures. The textures. It's wonderful. I love this so much. And the two different hats that you get. You know, you get the sheriff hat and then the wizard hat. These are wonderful. And you can see the texture in those where it looks kind of like a leather police hat which is amazing and then you can see the cloth wrapping around that hat i just love this so much yeah these aren't normal figures because they've done no. a lot of textures they've done washing as far as the paint yes. apps go this isn't a basic paint where you have like one solid color then the next solid color right this is uh this is artistry this is what i like about this is what makes me excited when i see figures like this mm -hmm. a lot of figures don't excite me they don't but no, me either. when i see things that are detailed like you would see in a statue Right. They very much excite me, and um, we were just blown away. Now this one also has Handsome Jack and Tiny Tina in it, yeah. and they both look really good. Yeah, we well. saw Handsome Jack at Toys R Us, we and did. that one looks really great, because you know Borderlands is known for that tuning, that tune shading right. with the lines. Looks really great. Super awesome. Now speaking of video games, they also sent We Happy Few the Bobby. Now we haven't played this. We have I, not. I don't even know what this is. But, but it's enticing. <laughs> yeah, but it is enticing. I love the sculpt on this. I love the look of it. Again, I love how they're hiding these joints. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're doing a great job. And this one comes with a base, so it actually does look like a little bit of a statue right. as well. And, you know, that's what I love about this one so much, these figures, is maybe you don't have the budget for a statue, like for a big statue, but you do have the budget for a $20 figure, and you want to hang it on your shelf like it is a statue. These are a good crossover. These you compose in whatever method or mode you want them to be. Mm -hmm. And with a statue, it's stagnant. You can't move it at all, but with this, you can. And I love all the little accessories you get with it. Mm -hmm. It's gas mask right. and this little police baton. And I, that might be poison. I'm not really sure. Again, we haven't played it, but love it. It's like an old London office pop cop, I guess. I guess so, yeah. yeah. So really cool. Love it. Moving right along, we have Savior Prisoner Daryl from The Walking Dead. Now this one, also, the joints, you can't see them. I mean, you can, but you can't. They kind of blend in, which is amazing. The only joint that I kind of have an issue with, because all of them are really great, is the wrist. Because, you know, he has skin there. There's no cloth to cover That's it. That's a difficult so it's kind joint. Of hard. Yeah, especially when he has right. snow sleeves. 
Exactly. So you're gonna see those. Exactly. Now this one has a base as well, so you can kind of stand him on the base and pose them. And then he has his mop, which is filthy, filthy, dirty. Yeah, he's dirty himself. Yeah. Like the entire look of him, he's very well, we grungy and dirty, which we, you know, you've seen the show, you know that probably. Yeah. Um, but that face sculpt again, holy crap, an action yes, figure. Yes, it's insane. You can see like his shadow of his beard and goatee and everything. The hair's done yes. really nicely. And his pants, they're textured and they're nasty. Like they're repulsive, which I like. I love the crossover. These honestly could be statues mm -hmm. if you they want They really them. could. Now, speaking of statues, they did send a statue from The Walking Dead. The mm -hmm. guy that everybody hates but loves as well. Yes. Merciless Edition Negan. How cool is this? Yeah, it's kind of a perfect name because he's pretty merciless. Yeah, himself. this one <laughs> is 10 inches tall. He's got his bat, of course. Uh, face sculpt again done. So nicely. Yes. Love the base he's on. Love the grunge. Love the textures. Those mm -hmm. boots look leather. I mean, honestly, attention yes. to detail is really where these things shine. I mean, they're, the buckles. I mean, right. the, the even the pattern on the bottom of his shoes, the pattern of his pants, mm -hmm. the way that his jacket looks leather. That's what I'm liking so much yes. about what McFarland's doing here is they are, you can tell that the quality control, number one, is done right. really well because you don't see too many blemishes. Right, no, you I don't. I haven't seen any. Not that you could tell because of how grungy some of these Walking Dead ones are. Right, I mean, they're supposed to look a little dirty. Man, I'm telling you, these things are just done so well. And the price mm -hmm. is right. The yeah. price is right if you're looking for something like this. Absolutely. So now, moving along right into Rick and Morty, we have a buildable set. And these are like buildable scenes, so you can have, like, you have obviously Summer in her bedroom, and then you have Snowball in his mech, which is pretty cool. Now, this is 129 pieces, and it is You Shall Now Call Me Snowball. So, I think this is kind of a cool play on it. It's yeah. something different that they're doing. I've actually seen some of these in the store. Yes, I uh, do They too. have a lot of these, actually, a lot of Rick mm -hmm. and Morty ones. And I think these are fun, because they do set little scenes from right. the show. Right, right. Uh, we can flip it on the back, and you can see Smith Family Garage Rack, or Evil Rick and Morty, the Spaceship and Garage, I really like. I kind of want to buy that one. Yeah. I really, really like that one. Ants in My Eyes, Johnson Electronics. I like that was a good one. Then you can see the You Can Run, But You Can't Hide from Scary Terry. That one I like. And then the Discreet Assassin. These are cool. I mean, again, they're sort of like Lego. Right, they they're, are. They're little they're build similar. ones. They're, yeah, they're similar, but they're not. They're two-pronged. Right. So they're not like Lego in that fact, but you just you stick them together with two prongs. And these are fun. These are really mm -hmm. fun because they're a little bigger. They're a little right. bigger than what you see what a Lego figure is. Plus, I don't think Lego would ever do like a Rick and Morty exactly. lineup. They're, so. they're able to take the adult sort of thing. Right. Like, not necessarily Rick and Morty's adult, but like adults watch a lot of mm -hmm. Rick and Morty. Billable kits are fun in general. And if you're a big Rick and Morty fan, that's really fun to just get them all and sort of put them on your shelf. Mm -hmm. Set a scene. Absolutely. So, I like that. It's really cool. Now, the last things we have are from Five Nights at Freddy's. So we just saw the build kit from Rick and Morty. They also sent a Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, uh, another set. Okay, so we don't play the game, so let me see what this is called. This one's called Control Module. This is what it looks like. And we get Funtime Foxy. And then you can see what's going on here. Again, we haven't played the game, but it's I know it's kind of very, very cool popular looking. among the youth. Yeah, very, very cool looking, very highly detailed. Um, th that Funtime Foxy figure is crazy looking. I Set. think all of the Five Nights at Freddy's characters are kind of crazy looking. Yeah, the designs of them are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And again, this isn't the only one. We can flip it on the back and you right. can see they've got Private Room, Scooping Room, Paper Pals Party, Left Dresser and Door, Phantom Balloon Boy with Office Hallway, Nightmare Bonnie and Grandfather Clock, and Withered Freddy with Party Wall. So again, oh, it's creepy looking. got a lot to choose from if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, this one crosses over well too because this isn't something that you see Lego do. No, definitely I not. I don't think. you got They got Minecraft. But they don't have yeah, something like this. But I don't think that they would ever be able to do something like this, or they would do something like this. The themes are slightly different from what I think Lego would do. Yeah, and they do have like the small figures that are inexpensive, like the little mm -hmm. one time figures that right. we'll show you here right now, or the big build sets. Now, the little figures that you get, you get the single characters basically. Mm -hmm. So we have Phantom with Office Hallway Balloon Boy. And basically, these come with just like the figure and then like a little accessory in the back right. wall and a base. That's what you're gonna get with those. We also have Nightmare Bonnie with Grandfather Clock, and it's 31 pieces. So this one's, you know, not a lot. It'd be a pretty quick build. Mm, mainly what you're buying is the figure. So if, right. you, if you're the type that likes to play with these in the figure, you got your figure right, to play with. exactly. And then we also have Withered Freddy with Party Wall. Again, this one is 33 pieces, so not a whole lot of pieces. 
and uh, you get the main character mm -hmm. guy, uh, Withered Freddy. So again, uh, really cool. I mean, cool set. Those are the three Very that cool. you get in this, at least on the back of it. I don't know if there's any more of them. They've got a lot of strange they series. They have a variety. Yeah, they a have big a, variety. a big variety of series. You got but there's whatever. one like yeah. overarching theme, I think, for all of this, and it's all more geared towards the adult collector. Yeah, that middle. Yeah. That middle it's one. It's like that very middle ground. Middle ground. Um, I don't foresee a lot of like really young people collecting this. Except outside for Five Nights at Freddy's. Outside and maybe Rick and Morty. And maybe Stranger Things. Or, yeah, maybe Stranger well, Things. I don't I, know. I think that's where the crossover is. It's, it's kind of like, ah, it's for everybody. Since these are so highly detailed, um, they do cross over well into what kind of collector you are. A lot of adults want the, want the highly detailed stuff. They want the realistic yeah. looking stuff. And uh, again... They nailed it. So out of all the stuff that they sent, the one that I'm going to recommend the absolute most, besides, I mean, Borderlands is great. If you're a Borderlands right. fan, they, there's nobody who makes better Borderlands stuff mm -hmm. out there. Nobody who makes a better Borderlands collectible. Not going to happen. Um, the Walking Dead action figures, again, nobody makes a better Walking Dead action figure, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't know anything about Happy Few, but I doubt they even anybody makes them. I, I, don't I know. doubt it. I don't but know. I'm going to have to recommend the most, the Stranger Things action figures, guys. Me too. If you're at Target, if you're at your local stores, look for these on the shelves. You might not be able to tell necessarily in our video, but if you see these things in real life and you're a Stranger Things fan, you're going to fall in love with them, I promise you. Mm -hmm, you are. So there is a look at all the McFarland stuff that they offer, at least some of the stuff. In the comments, let us know what your favorite thing is that they're making right now. Mm, yeah. Again, my thing is Stranger Things. Mine too. I think that they're just Great. fantastic. And I think during New York Comic Con, I remember seeing them, they're doing figures of them dressed in the Ghostbusters. Outfit. I think you're right. I think I remember seeing that. And that's definitely going to be in my it's collection. We have to buy them all. We, we got to have them. <laughs> we got to have them. So, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.